Aluminum cans. Airplane power up 4.0. We will need two aluminum soda cans. Use a knife to cut near the bottom of the can. Use a pair of scissors to finish off the cut. Cut along the side seam line. Continue to cut around the top. We now have a flat aluminum sheet. Tape it on the table to make working on it easier. Mark a line about 1 inch from the shorter side. Then a diagonal line to the corner. Mark two points at about a quarter of an inch from the diagonal line. Then connect these points to draw a parallel line. Cut along the second diagonal line. Save this piece to be used later. This will form one side of the wing. Get something stiff and thick like this plastic clipboard. Work at the edge of the table. Fold the edge of the aluminum at right angle as shown. Then continue folding to wrap around the edge. Press the edges to close the gap. Secure the edge with tape. This folds makes this edge rigid. Do the same for the other wing. Align the two rigid edge together. Join the two pieces temporarily with tape. Making sure the two rigid edges are aligned. Trim the other edges cutting the two sheets together. This is how we are able to make perfectly symmetrical pieces. Mark two points, one and a half and two and a quarter inches from the front end of the wing. Draw the outline of the vertical stabilizer from the two and a quarter inches point. Draw a small triangle from the front to the one and a half inches point. Cut the outline on the two sheets together ensuring symmetry.
Fold the vertical stabilizer 90 degrees. Do the same to the other wing but in opposite direction. Fold the small triangle at the opposite direction of the vertical stabilizer. We can now see how the two wings come together. Join the top of the vertical stabilizer with tape. Now we will have to use the power up 4.0. Attach the clip to the spine. Don't tighten the screws yet as we may need to move the clip. Attach the wings as shown. Secure the small triangle in the front with tape. The small triangle attaches to the clip in the spine. Tape the front edge of the vertical stabilizer. Attach the crossbar to the spine. Push the crossbar to the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer. You can see the wings naturally form a dihedral. Make a canard or forewing out of leftover aluminum sheet. Fold to make a triangle. Cut the edges together to make the two sides symmetrical. Fold to make small four wings. Slightly fold the edges downward to form the elevators. This is how the canard or forewing should look like. The canard clips in the fuselage of Power Up 4.0. Slightly fold the trailing edges of the main wing to form elevators. Try to make the fold on the two wings symmetrical. My first prototype came up with a wingspan of 12 inches. Wings are too big and heavy. Need to lose some weight. I need to trim about 1 inches from the trailing edge of the wings.
And this is the final version that flies really well. Take note that the elevators at the forewing are bent downward, while the elevator at the main wings are bent upward. This final version has a wingspan of about 10 inches. You can see the smooth surface that are beautiful and symmetrical. The spine of the PowerUp 4.0 goes in between the vertical elevator, slightly above the plane to give the wings a positive angle of attack. I think this plane is gorgeous and is more durable than paper airplane. Now it is time to fly. It flies and maneuver a lot better than the paper airplane.